It can be inferred from the passage that the rules and regulations, lines 9 and 10, affecting serfdom in Russia involve. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the passage. We're going to go back, of course, to lines number 9 and 10, or 9 through 10, and we're going to begin reading there. And when we find it pertinent information, we're going to match that information with one of the three answer choices, A through C. So let's go back to line number 9 through 10. It says Russian serfs on line number 9 were able to get around landlords' rules and regulations. How? While well, the serfs could pay for passports, they were usually granted permission to leave the estate. So we now can infer that one of the rules was about leaving, freedom of movement, and that corresponds to answer choice B. Next, we read on. If they could pay the fine, they could establish a separate household, meaning they were not allowed to live on their own, which is answer choice C, limitations on the ability to set up an independent household. And then finally here at the bottom, on line 13, midway through, it says, and if they had the resources, they could hire laborers to cultivate the communal lands. And so here, this corresponds to answer choice A, which is the responsibility for the work needed to accomplish certain defined tasks. These certain defined tasks would be the cultivation of the land, and these laborers doing the cultivation of the land. And because the serf has the money and the resources to pay these laborers, again, they have the responsibility for the work needed to accomplish the task. And again, that is A, and therefore the answer is all three.